My name is Kirsty, I'm one of the chemotherapy sisters on the second floor where you'll be getting your treatment. Everyone having a diagnosis of cancer and needing some treatment can find it a challenge and we're fortunate in this building that there are lots of things we can offer you should you need it. So we have the staff on the chemotherapy floor and there's your clinical nurse specialist. There's also the Macmillan Support and Information staff. It's quite difficult to define what we do downstairs because we don't lead the agenda, we leave that up to the person that's coming to talk with us. The vast majority of people being told they've got cancer will describe that as something you can never fully recover from. Hearing those words does turn things upside down. So you here as a place to come and process that, maybe ask some questions, maybe get some clarification. People at any stage of their cancer journey can just come in, they don't need to book an appointment and just have the opportunity to talk things through with a member of the specialist team. Some people just want a cup of tea, they want a quiet space to sit and think. We stock a lot of information booklets, Macmillan is the largest cancer information charity and there's so much information, there's what's in the newspapers, in magazines, the internet, and how can one person or a family go through all of that and find what's relevant to them? So what we try to provide here is standardised, peer-approved, well-researched information. For so example, a really good thing would be the fatigue booklet. It's really difficult to describe what fatigue really feels like if you're suffering from it as a consequence of your treatment. But giving somebody close to you a booklet that describes it for you is a really good way of using information and you then getting support because people suddenly understand it in a way that they wouldn't if you tried to explain it. We have our own wig fitting service and the transformation for people when they come in and leave with the right wig, what a difference it can make. Having said that, not everybody does want to wear a wig, so we can also give advice on scarf tying and other headwear that people might want to use. We also provide a range of complementary therapy treatments. Some people, they just want to come along and achieve a sense of well-being, but for some people, it may be that they genuinely have a problem with nausea or pain or not being able to sleep or anxiety, and it's how one of those treatments can be tailor-made to suit their concerns. What people don't necessarily understand is that being diagnosed and treated for cancer can be a very expensive business. If you're lucky enough to be employed in such a way that you've got protected pay, that might be easier, but a lot of people are on zero-hour contracts. People might need advice on things like a mortgage break. And so we have our welfare and benefits team and we can make a referral. We also have a drop-in twice a week where they can talk through what their concerns are and they can be given some quick answers. I do believe that the vast majority of people, given the right support and information, can manage their cancer and their treatment. But for some people, they need some extra support. And that's why we have a psychological care team made up of a mixture of psychologists and counsellors should people need some extra help and advice through the difficult time of cancer treatment. We also run a wellbeing programme. So we do a health and wellbeing event for people focused primarily at the end of treatment, where we try and cover some of those key things that we know can be an issue. Fatigue, sleep problems, diet, and also physical activity. We also do a range of support groups, because what we do know is people benefit greatly from spending time with others that can identify with them and what they've been through. We're also here for people at the end of treatment, a lot of people feel end of treatment can feel like stepping off a cliff face because they're not sure what's there for them. We hope to be there so that we catch people so it doesn't feel like the cliff face.